Aileen McGree. I'm a Chartered Physiotherapist and Specialist in Women's Health. And in this session we're going to talk about pregnancy-related pelvic girdle pain. So it's a very common condition for women who are pregnant. And as you can see here with this pelvis model, there are many joints in the pelvis. There are two at the back and one at the front. Pelvic girdle pain is pain coming from any of these joints and it can radiate into your buttock muscles, into your pubic area or even into your groin. So if you do have pelvic girdle pain, don't suffer in silence. It is important to see a chartered physiotherapist because they will be able to help you with exercises and advice to help reduce your pain and also they'll be able to do some manual therapy to help treat those tight, sore muscles and joints. So some tips for you. If you have pelvic girdle pain, it's important to avoid movements where you're using one leg or asymmetrical movements. The pelvis likes symmetry, so that means both legs doing the same thing at the same time. If you find getting in and out of the car difficult, it might be an idea to have a plastic bag on your car seat so that you can swivel yourself without moving those legs apart. Another option is to walk your feet in, one step at a time without going into your painful area. This is a good way of preventing you getting into your pain or aggravating it. If you do have pelvic girdle pain, it's important to work within your limits and making sure that you stay active within pain limits is really important. You want to make sure that you don't aggravate your pain, so avoiding things like hoovering and overdoing the housework, going up and down the stairs too much, might be something that would aggravate your pain. Also, if you find that you have a good day, it's not recommended that you do too much on your good days because it might make the, the next day a bad day. With regards to turning in bed, this is something that a lot of my patients say causes them problems. If you find yourself on your side and you want to turn over in bed, what we recommend is turning under rather than turning over. So going onto your hands and knees and then turning the other way. As you can see, I'm keeping my knees together. I'm supporting by using my tummy muscles and my arms and then I'm turning over into a more comfortable position. When you're in bed, it can also be an idea to have pillows between your legs going from your groin all the way down to your ankles so that you're not putting any strain on one part of the leg or the groin more than the other. For more information on pelvic girdle pain, see our website www.wellmom.ie.